Hey guys, how about fair? Gonna be doing a reaction to Pinkie P Tales uh, Cinder Shy. I've never seen this before. This is recommended by Zodia, and the video was made by Magpie. Yeah, Magpie Pony. Yeah. Looks like it's nearly an hour long, so I'll just cut it in half because bleh. I don't like doing something that's really long. Especially since I'm limited on time before people start blasting the sounds in the house, so. Yeah, let's get to it. Three, two, one. Details. Obviously, it has to do with uh, Cinderella. Or tonight's story is a classic pound uh, pumpkin. It's got a prince and some dragons and even an evil stepmother. Once upon a time. Uh, Cinderella, yep, In a kingdom not so far away, there lived a humble widowed merchant and his daughter, Cindershy. Cindershy was a kind-hearted filly, beloved by her father and all the little animals of the forest near their home. As the years passed, Cindershy grew lovelier, while her father grew lonelier. This is Since the, the passing of Cindershy's mother, he had sought out a new mare to wed. To his misfortune, he happened upon the Lady Rarity and her two horrid daughters. <laughs> Paella and Spikina. God, we have so few female characters to work with. Spike <laughs> <laughs> in a dress? <laughs> <laughs> Princess Trixie sparkle all over again. Hey, who are you calling horrid? <laughs> the merchant married Lady Rarity and introduced her Rarity's to Cindershy as her new stepmother. On the surface, Lady Rarity was a poised gentle mare with refined tastes and impeccable manners. However, she spent most of her time doting on her two daughters. Try as she might, Cindershy's attempts to grow close to her new stepmother had failed. One tragic Shocker. evening, Cindershy's father had grown gravely ill. His faithful daughter stayed close at his bedside, caring for him as best she could, while his new wife kept Not everyone still. gets along with their stepmothers. He declared his undying love to his I daughter hate before mine. passing away in her embrace. This angered Lady Rarity and a newly formed hatred for Cindershy had begun to grow in her cold and cruel heart. She seized the family's fortunes and squandered it on her daughters, forcing Cindershy to be a son in her bitch. own home. Despite the cruelty of her new step family, Cindershy maintained her kind heart and loving nature. She cooked and cleaned without even uttering a word of complaint and kept a secret hope in her heart that someday this nightmare would end and she would be happy at last. Early one morning in Cindershy's tiny bedroom, <laughs> three mischievous nice. little mice scampered and scurried around the floor searching for something. When the clock tower told the hour, the three mice squeaked in surprise. Quick! We got half force wakes up! The first little mouse said to the others before the three of them darted into what appeared to be a long pink shawl. <laughs> Cindershy had woken from the toll of the clock, but was caught off guard when she felt three little critters bury themselves into her tail. Oh my! She said, lifting her tail with her hooves to see the three little mice dangling from it. Ugh, great hiding place, Whisker Bloom. <laughs> How was I supposed to know her tail? Maybe we can jump and make a run for it! Oh, hold on there. Don't worry, little mice. I won't hurt you. Cindershy whispered, setting her tail and the mice down on her bed. I've never seen you three here before. My name's Cindershy. What's yours? My name's Whiskerbloom. I'm Cheesy Belle. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna trust this pony who can talk to animals right away, huh? <laughs> and what about you? Cindershy asked, waiting patiently for the mouse's answer. The third mouse sighed and muttered under her breath. I'm... Mouse-a-loo. <laughs> That's not your name! Did you forget your own name? Fine. It's... Rattaloo. <laughs> I rat. am not a rat! Rattaloo clarified... Don't rat out your friends! <laughs> dark you suck! Claire. I think that name's lovely. What brings you three to my attic? We're the cutie mouse crusaders! And we're on a quest! Oh? A quest for what exactly? We have no idea, but we'll <laughs> know it when we see it. Wow. Oh, well, then you are more than welcome to continue your quest here. Though, I must warn you, my stepmother has a dreadfully awful cat. 
Perhaps you should keep your quest to the attic. Or we could just go to a different house. <laughs> eh, I'll lock it here. <laughs> Please, what kind of quest would it be if we didn't have to defy a little death now and again? <laughs> Before Cindershy had the chance to respond, a loud and annoying call could be heard from downstairs. Oh dear, looks like the others are awake. You three sit close by me, just in case. I have to get breakfast started right away. Cindershy said, letting the mice climb back into her tail that while she's busy talk about. rest. Cindershy raced down the steps Why of the, the attic Brian to begin with her daily routine of chores. While she prepared the breakfast as quickly as she could, she had to endure the incessant screams of her impatient stepsisters. Jeez. Nothing, bitch. Joyce, do the ever shut up? Not they really. Ears. <laughs> How'd they like it if we screamed at them all morning? We don't know how you can stand it, Cinder Shy. Huh. It, it's not too bad. Yeah. Coming. Whoa! The mice shouted, barely able to cling onto Cinder Shy's tail as she hurried up the stairs. I'm sorry, little friends, but please don't let them see you. You can go back into a hole before pushing the bedroom door. Open. Just saying it. Instead of sticking her tail. Look who finally showed up! What were you doing anyway? Just uh, screwball. And then Cinder Shy said uh, she placed the <laughs> food on her stomach. Where's that bed. Well, you need to be fat. Where's that magpie? Oh, magpie. Okay. I like my breakfast hot and ready for me when I wake up. Is that so much to ask? You make it seem like baking is so hard. Ooh, Oh, get off your I ass and get a face on. into the pancakes. <laughs> the cutie mouse crusaders pop their little heads out of Cinder's tail made... to get a good look at her ungrateful uh, sister. Pancakes. Check out that pony's crazy of mine. What is she wearing? I'm a mouse and even I have better table manners than that. <laughs> While Pyla ate, Cindershy tiptoed towards the door. Yeah. That's right, baking! I can bake circles around you! It's well, then go ahead! Hard, you know. Oh, yeah? No one's well, stopping if you. If it isn't so hard, then why don't you try it sometime? Uh, uh, I don't need to try it! I have tried it! And I why did you talk, little mice? Much, but I'm not the servant here! I'm the antagonist, and that means I have to be impossible and rude! Huh? <laughs> Wait. What? I'm yeah, fourth wall breaking. I mean, <laughs> I laundry! That's why she shouldn't um, be the. What needs to be washed? <laughs> Feels that sister. Isn't it obvious? My. Oh, no, that's clean. Well, how about my. Hmm. Uh, laundry? I never said laundry. I said my party cannons need to be. clean. Right away. Cindershy said. I think I have a theory about why you're such a bitch. Excuse me? You see, you're popular because you developed early and started putting out when you were 12, but now you can't stand to look at yourself in the mirror because all you see is a whore. So you pick on men to avoid the inevitable realization that once your body's used up by age 19, you're going to be a worn-out, chalky-skinned burlap sack that even your stepdad won't want. How's that? Am I in the ballpark? Slipping out of her sister's room quietly. Did, did you girls hear that? She heard me from all the way over there. Does this entire house of ponies understand us? That was just coincidence, right away. <laughs> Only Simshot can understand us. What? But I just heard her. Shh. We're going into the other sister's room. The no, look at it. Scoot a more. She really does look like a rat. Her nose is longer. It's about time. <laughs> I'm sorry for the delays, by Kina. I have your breakfast for you. Wow. That is one ugly looking pony. <laughs> uh huh. Those sure are interesting. Uh, hoofs. Check out that tail. What do you think, Radaloo? Radaloo? Whisker Bloom and Cheesy Bell searched around Cindershy's tail until they heard Radaloo's shout from inside Spikina's bedroom. I fell out. Wait! Don't shut the. Uh, shut the door uh... and moved on to the third bedroom. Although her stepmother did not shout at her as her stepsisters had done, it was her wrath that frightened her the most. You three best wait for me out here. 
Opalescence is in there with Stepmother, and she'll spot you for sure. Cindershy whispered. Whiskerbloom and Cheesy Belle leapt from her tail and raced back towards the second sister's room. Hang on, Redaloo! We're coming for you! Cindershy tapped lightly at her stepmother's door. Come in. Good morning, stepmother. Cindershy whispered. She passed by Opalescence and snarled and swiped at her with her paw. Yeah, so yeah, sure definitely. Good about it. Well, the Lady other one. Rarity said, examining movie. the food that was placed before her. Did you remember to finish the sweeping? Yes, stepmother. Good. Today I need you to polish the silver, clean the carpets and the drapes, dust the furniture, clean the sheets and the blankets on the bed, and groom my little opal wopo. Before Cindershy could give her response, she was interrupted by the loud and terrified scream of her stepsister Spikeina. <laughs> Yeah, what? someone shouldn't have tattled on you. First into the bedroom <laughs> and up to her mother's bedside. She pointed a claw at Cindershy accusingly. She did it, mother. She brought the little vermin in here. I've seen her with all kinds of animals. Punish her. What's going on? Why was I invited? Are <laughs> screaming? I love screaming! From the doorway, the four of them could clearly see the little mouse crusaders assisting Rattaloo, who it appeared had been through quite an ordeal. A rat? A rat? I am a mouse! What you are a rat. Look at your rodent? tail. It's oh, thick. Vermin. Get them, Opo. Get them all. <laughs> oh, no. Run, little friends. The mouse crusaders darted away quick as lightning. Opalescence was not too far behind. Where they came from. <sighs> Clearly, this place just isn't clean enough. If, if you've seen the actual dark enough, version of in this, addition to your regular chores, Cinderella, I to sweep again, uh, wash and scrub every inch of the it floor. It doesn't end well for her. Um, place, not a speck of dust lady. found. Nothing. Yeah, look it up. It, it's disturbing clear. as hell. Yes, ma'am. Oh, and Cindershy, dear. If all Disney's I find all Disney's creature have in this disturbingly by your dark past. You'll go without supper it. for a week. Pyla laughed just as her mother used her magic to slam the door on Cindershy. <laughs> Hours later, Cindershy was hard at work while the Cutie Mouse Crusaders did what they could to help. It wasn't difficult for them to outwit Lady Rarity's cat, and they took great pride in their ability to do so. They felt terrible for causing Cindershy so much grief with her awful family. All three offered to help with her chores. Sometime <laughs> that afternoon, there was a short knock at the door. Cindershy opened it curiously to Her find muffin. one of the prince's royal messengers. The messenger struggled to hold on to her trumpet and blasted it right in Cindershy's ear. Asshole! <laughs> His Majesty, the Prince! You, um, don't have to shout. I can hear you just fine. Oops, my bad. <laughs> His Majesty, the Prince, invites all eligible mayors to attend his royal gala this evening. A gala? Oh, how exciting! I must inform my stepmother right away. Thank you! The messenger smiled and fumbled to pick up her trumpet, <laughs> going to the next home where Cindershy could hear her blowing her horn loudly in some pony else's face. <laughs> Cindershy was so elated at the possibility of the gala, she didn't even notice the glares her family gave her when she barged in on their lunch to tell them the news. <laughs> Cindershy, what's gotten into you? You know not to disturb our meal. Yes, stepmother, I know. I just... Oh, what's this? There are a lot of things what to say to her, but nothing of them are positive. Give it back! I want to see it! Give it back! I want to see it! Give it back! Give it back. Give it back. Give it back. As the pair of them fought over it, Lady Rarity calmly levitated the invitation from her daughters and read it silently to herself. Oh my, this is wonderful news. Uh, girls, girls, stop this bickering at once. It's a message from the prince. The prince? He's inviting us to his royal gala this evening. A party? I love party. The galas. Oh. I've always dreamed of marrying the make up the on is weird. Um, did you read the part on there about all the eligible mirrors? Yes, indeed I did. What? That can't be true! 
Mother, you can't let her go with us. Now, now, Why not? Uh, Cinder Shy has a point. I'll tell you what, Cinder Shy. If you can finish all of your chores and help your sisters get ready, provided you can find something to wear, you may come with us as well. Of course. I will, stepmother. Thank you. Thank you. Yay! I, I mean, boo! <laughs> Cinder Shy's happiness soon faded, however, when she realized the length of the chores list she still needed to complete. Every moment uh, she got closer to finishing, her stepsisters demanded like the her attention in helping them prepare for the gala. I think it was Therefore, the second Disney movie Mouse made. Crusaders took matters Next to Beauty and the Beast. Cinder Shy er, needs our help, Crusaders. No, so. We have to find a way of getting her to the gala. But how can we do that? We're just three little mice. Maybe we could make a dress for her. The very first Us? Disney one was... Like a dress? Are you sure about that, Cheese Bale? Second oh, Beauty, there on, we Mr. go. Bloom. How hard can it be? We just gotta use one of her old ones and make it look, you know... Better! Yeah, better! Well, alright then, if you think so. The Crusaders made their way to Cindershy's meager closet to find nothing but old rags. They looked at them and then back at each other. Yeah. <laughs> to beautify. Oh, wow! So many choices. <laughs> How about this one? It doesn't have as many holes as the other ones do. It's perfect! It, it is? is? Yeah! All we need is some ribbon, maybe some lace, sequins... You don't really need clothes. <laughs> your ponies. Stuff. In her oh, it's Gail. room, of course! If they can't be nice to her, they may as well be useful for something. Well, what do you think? If it means ripping apart some of that ugly pony's dresses, <laughs> I'm totally in. My too! Let's make a dress she'll never forget. And destroy personal property in the process. <laughs> yeah! By early yeah! Sorry about that. Goddamn commercial. By early evening, Cindershy has lost whatever. all hope of going to the gala. Even though all the chores had been completed and her family was all ready to go, she knew that she didn't have time to modify anything from her wardrobe. Her hoof steps were slow, and her ears matted against her head when she finally reached the attic. Cinder uh, opened they're pointed the door and was taken aback when the three mouse crusaders jumped from their hiding places, shouting, "Surprise!" What do you have? Like in the, the movie, wouldn't you have the birds help too? Words. Do you like it? Oh my, um, it's... Amazing. Well, I've never seen anything like it. Cindersai said, trying her best not to hurt their little mouse feelings. The truth was, the dress was a mess. Ribbons and lace were roughly sewn in awkward places. Gemstones were haphazardly placed throughout the dress, and random chunks of fabric were sewn onto it. It was apparent that three very different mice designed three very different dresses and then combined it together to create the horror before her now. Yeah. Try it on! Try it on! Cindershy obliged. She modeled the dress for the three mice, two of whom were overjoyed. You are beautiful! Right from the gala! Wow. We really stuck as seamstresses. <laughs> oh, it's not that bad, Rattaloo. Besides, it's the thought that counts. Come on! It's time to go! Look, the carriage is waiting! Uh, Cindershy looked from the dress to the door. She hesitated, but decided it was worth a try. She hurried down the steps, calling that's cringe. out her uh, That's truly a cringe. Please wait. Lady Rarity and her daughters were just on their way out when they turned to see Cindershy racing towards them. Cindershy, don't be silly. You couldn't have had time to make yourself presentable. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying something. Hey! Does that mean I can't come? I... I don't even know where to begin, daughter. <laughs> I think you were better off in the rags. Do... Do I rip it up because the rats used some of my stuff on it? <laughs> uh, mice! Rattaloo shouted from the banister above, alerting Opalescence. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I... I think that might actually improve it. I think that gown already slaughtered itself. Come, girls, the prince awaits. 
Lady Rarity said. She and her two daughters laughed themselves silly as the carriage pulled them away from the house, leaving a broken-hearted Cindershy behind. Yeah, bitches. Cindershy burst into tears, running from the house to the what backyard the where she finally collapsed, be. crying on a little stone bench. Moments later, she was joined by the Cutie Mouse Crusaders. But I don't get it. I thought we did a good job. Maybe we gave it too much lace. Or Raven. Or everything. It should have been white instead of that grayish brown look. Just saying. You were just trying to help me. Tan, maybe? I guess I'm just not meant to go to the gala or meet the prince. Now, now, I wouldn't go there. Applejack. An unfamiliar voice said. Cindershy lifted her well, head from her hood and looked around for the source. Much to her amazement, a pony appeared out of thin air before her in a shimmering <laughs> That's dress, a very big dress. bright sparkling wand. There are no appropriate words to describe how I feel about this here girl. <laughs> but that's a point. Cindershy, I've heard your cries and have looked into your heart. Because you are so kind and pure, I will grant you your heart's desire. Wait, who are you? Oh, right. Why, I'm your fairy apple mother, of course. I didn't know I had a fairy apple mother. Apparently, you do. <laughs> Have you thought of what you most desire, Cindershy? Yes, of course. The death of your the sisters. <laughs> I want my parents back. Oh. Uh, Wait, what? Uh, Whoa, that on. is actually now, a good wish. A <laughs> I thought you are supposed to want to go to the gala. But you said what I most desire. I want to see my father again above all else. That's well, a really good wish. Uh, Gosh, I guess that's quite the plot hole here. <laughs> Can we just uh, pretend that you most desire to go to the gala? Wow. I, I suppose. Of all the ponies, really? Prince. Great. Really? Now that I can do. Uh, but before I do, I'm gonna need me some supplies. Now, let's see. Uh, do you have an apple tree here somewhere? Yes, it's right over there. Good, good. Go pick one, would you? <laughs> Cindershy didn't hesitate. She retrieved the apple and held it up to her fairy apple mother. Uh, go ahead and put that on the ground there and give me some room. Cindershy and the Crusaders backed away from the apple while her fairy apple mother held her wand above it. Now, uh, there are some words I have to say. Uh, bippity... No, no, I'm wrong network. Uh, <laughs> Appledy, bappledy, zap! Fairy Apple Mother waved her magic wand, and the apple on the ground began to shake uh, and mutate. Not know what it's it called. grew larger and larger, hollowing itself out and growing all sorts of new features. By the time it was I'm done, gonna the apple had become a marvelous get such better. Cindershy gasped in awe and excitement, reaching out her hoof just to make sure it was real. It still resembled an apple and smelled just as sweet as one, too. Do y'all happen to have any little critters about? What am I talking about? Your foot or... Cindershy. <laughs> of course you have critters nearby. I need some mice. What do you need mice for? Don't worry, no harm will come to him. <laughs> come on out, little friends. With a wave of my magical doohickey, <laughs> and the magic words, I will transform these mice into. Oh, wait a minute. I can't turn them into horses because that'd just be ponies, right? <laughs> They'll shoot. I guess that wasn't completely thought through. Uh, what else can pull ponies? Or uh, let's see, uh, how about. Dragon? Mules? An apple carriage pulled by dragons. Eh, that seems stranger. Dragons <laughs> it is. Appley, Battley, Zip. In a flash of light, <laughs> the mice were transformed into large, sleek looking dragons. Too big. Well, Cheezabelle, you are positively terrified. And look at you, Whisker Bloom. Probably donkeys would be so better. Donkeys are strong. Life. Hey, what about me? Why didn't your spell work on me? Because I used the spell for mice, of course. Oh. Don't worry, I have just the thing in mind for you. But uh, I am a mouse. <laughs> Happily, battle. Rattaloo opened her eyes slowly, excited and afraid to see what she had become, only to find out she hadn't changed. Wait, you didn't do anything. Of course I did. You're much bigger now. You can be the coach rat, or mouse. You know, got jellies and such. That it? 
Rattaloo objected before she was magicked away to the apple slice seat on top of the carriage, holding yeah, the reins for to her face. two newly dragonified friends. Now let's see, I've got the carriage and the dragons and the coach mouse thing. What am I forgetting? Um, maybe if you don't mind. No, no, I can remember. Don't <laughs> Was that last? Hint, hint, dress, it's dress. It's not that I don't appreciate the dress the mice made for me, but... Oh, right, right, the dress. Maybe I could just clean up the one you wear. Whoa, ho, ho. What? What? What happened to this thing? <laughs> you live in that house with Rarity and she let you walk out looking like that? Um, wow. Guess you see something new every day. All right, uh, how about we, um, turn it green? No, uh, purple. <laughs> no, uh, uh, what's in this season? Plaid? Sweet Celestia, I made it worse. <laughs> Maybe we should cut it short? Longer. Definitely longer. I'm not white. Uh, shoot, White's I was pretty. not cut out for this role. Unicorns wouldn't need no magic stick or silly words. <laughs> okay, okay, stop, stop, stop. What the f***? Well, what just happened? Why is everything black and white? And not moving? Pinky, where did you come from? How did you get here? Fourth wall, not important. <coughs> here, I got you this. It's the design for a dress for Cindershy. Fourth, what? <laughs> oh, hey, this does look nice. Who drew this? Rarity, duh. <coughs> but I thought... Don't question it, Applejack. I gotta go. It's almost my turn to dance with the prince. <laughs> <sighs> this is so why I don't handsome. break the fourth wall. It kind of ruins it. <laughs> Pinky? Pinky, where'd you go? Um, are you saying the dress should be pink? Uh, nope. Looks like it's supposed to be blue. All right, let's All right. go. I believe, I believe, zap. The magic surrounded ah, Sunshine that looks and nice. she was lifted off the ground. Moments later, she reappeared wearing a beautiful gown with matching glass horseshoes. This is beautiful. I've never felt so amazing in all my life. Thank you. The glass horseshoes are kind of fragile, don't you think? Are you complaining about this dress too? <laughs> no, no, no I, I can make it work. It's beautiful. Good. Hop on in, Cinder Shy. Your prince awaits. I'm just gonna oh, uh, pause right there. That'll be part one. Went a little too far, but whatever. I just wanted to go until we got to see the dress. Yeah. Then I think about the white dress wouldn't really look, work for her. But then, but yeah, the blue and white actually looks a lot better. Kind of like with the movie, I haven't seen it in goodness knows long, long, but I just didn't care for the movies. Not a huge Disney fanatic. You know, because the, the YouTuber brony named Disney fanatic. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, hope you guys like the reaction of part one and uh have a nice day